What's up guys, Boss here, and in today's video, we're going to be playing a grand challenge using Drill. So Drill is one of the best win conditions in this meta, and you have the Inferno Tower, which I think is better than the Tesla right now because it helps you so much against beatdown, like Lava Hound and Golem, for example. You have the Skeleton Army, which pairs really well with the Skeleton King filling up the bar, and then you have Wall Breakers, of course, as another win condition with the Drill, and then even the Dark Goblin can get some really solid ship damage and just be really annoying for your opponent because it forces them to use a log on it and then you can of course abuse the skeleton army and then fire spirit gets so much value for only one elixir so i'm seven and two right now in this grand challenge so we have to be really careful because if we lose one more game then we're out before we head in the first match if you guys would like to support me you can use my credit code boss in any supercell game would really appreciate that from you guys so yeah let's get in the first game um i'm sorry for doing two grand challenge videos in a row because i know some of you guys really like ladder but I've been struggling a little bit on ladder the past couple days, I'm not going to lie, and I kind of wanted to take a break from ladder and just play a grand challenge, so hopefully you guys, um, you know, you can un understand that, uh, yeah, but I'll try to get a ladder video out tomorrow or Sunday for end of the season, we'll see how it goes, I guess, so, okay, he's using Mega Knight, so we definitely need to send in a Goblin Drill here just to pressure, and then I'm going to go Inferno. And then we need to try to, if, okay, I kind of messed that up. I was trying to, I was trying to activate the King Tower, but either way, it doesn't matter. Look at how much damage we did to his tower. I wasn't even paying attention to that. I thought he would have actually been able to defend. I was just so focused on defense on my end that I didn't even see what just happened. And we already took like, you know, three fourths of his tower. So incredible start to this game he might predict the scar me i don't know uh no he's not so he just got really desperate for damage didn't work out so this is probably gonna be gg unless i don't know i don't know unless i like really throw this because you know his tower is almost dead um i don't see him breaking through like an inferno and a scar me especially with this really rough start he had i'm gonna go dark goblin uh, we need to watch out here for the bandit. Just probably wall breakers to kind of like tank. I'm going to go fire spirit. And then does he... Okay, no, he can't activate the queen's abilities, so that's good. I was a little scared about that. If he did do that, I would have had to probably go for a skeleton king on top of it. Luckily, we don't have to worry about that. So we're just going to go drill here on top of his tower to pressure. He's going to ghost. And he actually pre-placed it, so he's going to have to drop something else because I played it on the other side sometimes it can be good to switch up the drill placement to keep your opponent kind of like guessing it's kind of the same as the minor except you don't really want to play it ever all the way in the back because it's better to play it on the side or the front because the goblins are closer to the tower where they spawn out of the drill if that makes sense um but you can switch up where you play it like you can play it like on the sides and um there's a couple different placements you can play it on the front so fireball comes in takes out his tower so there we go you know incredible first game here uh nice and easy and this mega knight deck is so much worse after the mega knight nerf the ramrider nerf and i just think it really fell out of the meta so yep not too difficult and we also you know just i wouldn't say we got lucky but he was like overly aggressive and then he didn't have any elixir for the drill so we pretty much yeah just won this from the start as you saw so yeah, now we're going to be 8-2. and two. Still four more wins, though, to get that 12, so it's not going to be easy because if we just get, like, one difficult matchup, we could have a problem. But we'll see what happens, and, uh, yeah, see you guys when we find the next game. I guess I'll search for it and see how long it takes. If it takes any more than a couple seconds, I'll, uh... Oh, there we go. We found it immediately. Okay, we're against Remco here. Um, so with this starting hand, we probably could just go Fire Spirit at the bridge first play. Great pressure card for only one elixir. He's going to go zap it. So we could actually go drill and wall breakers. It's really aggressive, but it's a pretty solid play because it, you know, it often forces your opponent kind of to panic and that worked out perfectly. Turns out he's got Lava Hound with Barbarians and Skeleton Drag. So we just got, you know, pretty much the best value fireball we could possibly ask for. And uh, basically, if he goes lava in the back, what we need to do is pressure with everything at the bridge, like Skeleton King and Skarmy, basically. So I'm going to, okay, so basically, we just do this other lane, because then he's going to have to defend this, and he won't be able to support the lava push that well. Um, either that, or he ignores this, but either way, he's kind of in a lot of trouble right now, because all we have to do 
if I'm not mistaken, we can just Inferno his Balloon that he plays, and then we can defend this Lava Push pretty easily. Because the Balloon, I believe, takes three shots to take out an Inferno, which is kind of crazy. I mean, look at that. You know, this, this is why the Inferno... Uh, is just great, you know, over the Tesla because there's a good amount of lava in this meta because of the Ram Rider nerf, the Mega Knight and the Ram Rider nerf, because that deck did amazing against lava and the small queen nerf. You see more lava now, and that is why the, uh, as I said, the Inferno is a great tool to have over the Tesla because it just does so much better against it. So this guy might have just gave up because, you know, we just straight up have a hard counter, so he did i don't blame him i'm just gonna this isn't even risky to do i'm just gonna do this and this will tell us yeah he did give up wow so yeah this deck destroys lava um especially lava fireball bait because you have the fireball lava clone could probably be tricky just because you don't have poison arrows or tornado but even that you probably could beat if you play really well okay so here we go in our next one here can seven so no wall uh wall breakers in rotation so we couldn't i don't know if we should go drill first play um okay well now i'm definitely gonna do it because he decided to queen so this is a good way to pressure in the other lane he's gonna go cannon so maybe he's using this is probably either royal hogs or hog rider um if i had to prefer what he's using i would obviously hope yeah i was gonna say royal hogs so i'm glad he has that because Hog is a lot more difficult because your Fireball doesn't get a lot of value, but because he's got the Royal Hogs, we get a lot of value with our Fireball. He's calling the good game. I don't know if it's quite good game because he could delivery this, but it is a very good start. Um, I feel like he definitely messed up his defense. There's no doubt about that, but um, I don't... Well, actually, wow, he's still taking damage. I don't know what this guy's doing. Maybe he used up... I don't know. I feel like he messed up by using too much Elixir or something. I, I don't... What? I I don't understand what this... I mean, we're at 9 wins in a grand challenge here, so... I am a little... I'm a little surprised by the... Decision making of our opponent here. Um, I don't know what's going on. But, uh, clearly... Our opponent's having a little bit of trouble defending pretty simple things i i don't know what's going on did this guy just like cue with the wrong deck or something i i don't know you, you guys tell me i i don't wait did he just mirror that uh the king tower sir can seven <laughs> okay i i don't know what just happened i i really don't know but we basically just got two easy three crowns in a row Jeez. <laughs> yeah drill can be kind of kind of busted sometimes especially if your opponent doesn't know how to defend it and i'm going to tell you guys right now some people in the comments were telling me that drill is not good on mid ladder i actually would argue it is good on mid ladder because so many people who are like lower on ladder just do not know how to defend against goblin drill they're just going to over commit on top of it or just not know like what the heck they're doing um which that guy kind of just proved so i'm gonna send wall breakers here and then we're gonna go skeleton king uh this is i'm gonna need to scar me this this is a little bit okay i'm gonna activate this here uh this golden knight is gonna be an issue it gets a lot of value a lot of value against the skeletons from the skeleton king and inferno is not going to be very useful in this matchup so i'm a little bit i'm probably just going to fire spirit this and then do nothing else yeah uh, this is gonna be tricky i know it's drill versus drill but well let's see what happens i guess i'm gonna send in my drill we're gonna go wall breakers okay so this is great because he can't support his drill at all because he has to defend Whoa, what is he doing? That tornado was an overcommitment. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that guy just messed up. Um, I don't know what's going on. I feel like my opponents are making like a lot of misplays. Oh, this is not good, and the Dark Goblin probably goes down here. Oh, wait, it doesn't. There's just too much stuff down for the Golden Knight. Yeah, that tornado really cost him, I feel like. 
Look at that. Wow. And that E was. That's a bad E was. He played that so late, and now he doesn't have a lot of elixir. Tons of misplays coming out from uh, our last three opponents, that's for sure. Ooh, what is. What is happening right now? Is this like the easiest end of a grand challenge of all time? Like, I don't know if I've ever. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be, like, toxic or, like, rude, but why are my opponents playing so badly? What's going on? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I did get two losses earlier before I recorded, but I was against better opponents. Well, actually, to be fair, one was just a straight up a hard counter, but... Because I was against someone running Graveyard with Arrow, Snowball, Valkyrie, and Dark Prince. Like, pretty much every counter imaginable to drill. Uh, but... I do not know what is happening right now. I do not know, but dude, the last like three games were basically really easy. Don't know what any of the opponents were doing, but uh, I'll take it. I mean, anything to make my life easier, I, I guess. This might end up being a pretty quick video. How have I only been recording for a little over 11 minutes and we've already played four games? Like, isn't that odd? I don't know. This is pretty... Pretty remarkable. Pretty rare, I'd say, for the end of a Grand Challenge. Uh, so yeah, this was the loss I had. I was talking about complete hard counter. I mean, Valkyrie and Dark Prince, like, basically two of the best counters in the game. The Goblin Drill, he had arrows for the Dark Goblin, and then Snowball for the Skarmie. So, yeah. I mean, that was one of my losses. I forgot what the other one was. I think it was to... Might have been to an RG deck. He actually kind of played really well. Alright, so... If we win this game, we get the 12 win. Um, if this game is really easy too, I don't know what to say. Um, we just kind of got blessed, I guess, at that point. Zappies, though. If this guy has recruits hogs, this is going to be a pretty difficult matchup. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Uh, I meant to say if he has... Uh... I just realized recruits... I I'm dumb. Forget what I just said. Recruits hogs It's it it is very easy for this deck. I don't know why I just said that. I wasn't thinking straight. Um, so this is RG, okay, um, so the question is what spell does he have, because if he has, um, that RG was very aggressive, I don't know if, yeah, that definitely wasn't a good RG, but I still had to spend, you know, a decent amount of elixir to defend it, but I still feel like it wasn't a very good play. So this shouldn't be that bad of a matchup. Um, I would say it's, I don't think it's like really easy, but it's definitely not a bad matchup because if he doesn't have any spell for the Inferno, it's really easy for us to defend his RG pushes, or at least it should be anyway. Um, okay, so he does defend that, but he had to use up all of his elixir, so I'm pretty sure he can't play like anything else. Like, with this, I mean. So, we're definitely fine. Yeah. Um, and it's important to be aggressive in this type of matchup in single. Okay, that was a bad fisherman. Yeah, so again, potentially an opponent that's kind of making some misplays. I'm gonna go in here. Uh, does he log? Yeah, he does. I'm gonna do this. His log's out of rotation, so our Skarmie's just gonna wreck this giant skeleton. Okay, that is extremely aggressive. I don't know what the reasoning behind that was, but I'm still gonna Inferno because otherwise... Alright, and then we're gonna pressure a bit in the other lane, because this is a big log value for him in the left, so I don't want to, like, play wall breakers in the left and just give him a ton of value. That wouldn't be smart. So close to getting a wall breaker connection. So yeah, EQ. Um, that's probably, I would say, better than him having... It's better for him than having Firewall because EQ does pretty good against the Skarmie too, not just the Inferno. But, uh, I don't know. I think we should be able to defend relatively easily, I, I would assume at least. Yeah, so we just Inferno here.
Wait, he just used his EQ, so he can't kill this Skarmy. It's impossible. But he got a lot of damage there. That was a really good push on his end, I gotta admit. Uh, decent fireball, but... I'm gonna pre-place the Inferno. I think it's a good play, and that'll splash if he doesn't... Okay, great. I'm gonna go drill here. Oh, he just used his log, so... Oh, but I just realized... The log hit the... We get the activation down. Great fireball. I think this should be GG. I think we got it. Okay. Well, that's gonna be GG. Uh, that guy definitely played the best out of every single game, which shows, you know, typically at 11 wins, you are gonna get better opponents, but that's one of the, you know, I think that was really easy. Yeah, overall, from seven to 11 wins, the 12th win was the only one I felt like I actually had to work for. I don't know what happened in the other games, but uh, my opponents, I guess they need to, you know, get their head in the game, get their act together, because I do not know what happened. Um, hope you guys did enjoy the video, even though it wasn't a ladder video. Uh, you know, as you can, if you couldn't tell, or if I seem a little tired, it's because I am. Um, I've been playing a lot today. I really was, you know, trying my my best to, like, push up on ladder, get kind of high, but it's been a struggle today, so... Um, Wow, Legendary and Champion in the same Grand Challenge chest. I think that might be the first time that's ever happened. Is that worth taking a screenshot? Uh, those of you who stuck around to the end, have you ever won a Grand Challenge and got a Legendary and a Champion in the same Grand Challenge chest? I feel like that's very rare because getting a Legendary from a 12-win Grand Challenge, I'm pretty sure that's only like a 1 in 3 chance. And I'm pretty sure a Champion, it's only like a... That has to be pretty rare, right? Like, I think getting a Legendary and a Champion in the same Grand Challenge just unless they recently changed the drop rates, I feel like that's like a 1 in 20 or 30 chance. So, I mean, that's kind of defining odds right there. Anyway, hope you guys did end up enjoying the video. Make sure to like if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe if you guys are not subscribed already. And I promise my next video will be a ladder video. I just need to climb up a little bit. Like I said, I've been struggling. Uh, it's been kind of a rough last few days for me on ladder, but yeah, I'm gonna, you know, figure it out, uh, you know, try to climb up a bit, you know, tomorrow, uh, grind, I've already been grinding a lot the last couple of days, but really try to focus, you know, try to find what deck works, we'll see, and, uh, yeah, that is going to be it, thanks again, until next time, guys.